off top, I rock an orthodox Boogie pop lock, my block don't stop Turning dirt to guap, cold to hot In the spot, word, we on top Graffiti writing, niggas fighting, game study Money acting funny, cause he lost his money, day sunny Steady living, sexy women and we winning Every inning, point working, jitsy jerking Junkie jocking, monkey on the back, body rocking Got them copping, got me shopping Collar popping, all in hopping, beats are chopping So ain't no top snaps, busy putting up that on the map Cut the chit chat, let me hit that, it's a wrap Proud committee, yeah, we did that in our back Where you at? When my ego trip click, my heels flip quick Now we bubble double excel, whatever long as it sells Cypher and sales, freestyle, fire, nine, live, rhyme up in your town VH1, shot time, shutting it down From the city that don't sleep, rap pretty and not neat All outside the lines on this rap beat pack Heat for revolution, a restitution, a solution Ain't coming easily, but in the end, believe in me uh, what I plan on teaching, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of video footage that I have nine years of. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be going on a lot of trips. Trips are a must. We're gonna have people come in here and speak about their experiences and definitely have some of the, 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 the top documentators of this art form um, coming here too. Any and every aspect of graffiti art, we're gonna cover this within these 19 weeks and, and I guarantee you after you go through this seminar there should be no way that you can't find an answer for whatever it is as far as the PDR, whether you are an instructor, um, whether you are a novice or just someone who loves the PDR, um, I'm going to try to do the very best I can to give you the very best education that you are going to get. Um, my roots are from the early 1970s in Central Brooklyn, East New York in particular. The streets of East New York was crazy. It wasn't just writing the name and thinking you were, you know, live, live your life. Right. Um, we had a very, very violent game where I grew up at, and they were called the Tomahawks. It was so bad that people that you knew would rob you. Like, cats you grew up with would rob you. <laughs> you know, and, and they knew you had no money, but you're going to run them sneakers and you're going to run that jacket. And if you happen to be going to store with your moms, they don't care, they rob you anyway. I mean, East New York had the highest murder rate in New York City for years. The leaders of the Tomahawks grew up in my projects. I'm talking about Powerful Bar and Our Bar. These names are very, very recognizable if you do research on for the Brooklyn Gang and the Tomahawk because um, Our Bar um, was one of the principal characters in um, Sonny Carson's movie, the education of Sonny Carson. He was the head of the time of And they would run around with a big bird, um, you know, uh, jean jackets that I'm sure that you're familiar with. And um, very, very violent, man. They would kill people. And it'd be an everyday thing for them. Um, one, another um, incident was one of the people around my way wrote the name Champ on a wall. And his brother's name was Little Champ. He came around with a double barrel shotgun and he said, whoever's name is Champ, boom. I want them to get that damn name off the wall because if I come here tomorrow and that name ain't off the wall, I'm going to shoot somebody. And whenever they said something, they was going to do it. There was no, they wasn't going to do it. They was going to do it. Um, recently I asked Henry Shaka, who was one of the principal um, graffiti art documentators, if not the premier documentator of graffiti art on trains, um, why did he come to the Bronx and he did not come to Brooklyn and New York? And he simply told me, he said, James, when I went out there, it was a totally different feeling. He said, I ain't gonna lie, I was scared. 
Um, so I'm writing G. Um, the first place is uh, the staircases in, in the projects. We had 22 buildings, eight floors each. <laughs> and my main mission was to hit every floor <laughs> in every building. <laughs> you know, um, first I was the king of the, of the projects. There were other people writing to, so you know, eventually you had rivals and wars with the other cats that lived across the street in the other buildings. Um, a lot of those people I used to look up and admire because they was writing before me, and I used to see their names. Um, G163, Ad, Art, Power One, um, Hollywood, um, other names I used to see was Me, Cross. Um, I used to look up to these people. I knew I had a, a talent in, in doing characters but no one to help me develop past a certain point. Um, graffiti kind of filled that void, um, you know, for me. Um, eventually, I would take the streets of East New York. Um, from then, it was the train yards and getting up on the train. And that was the evolution. First, you would take over, you know, in your projects, then the neighborhood, then the train line. That was the evolution of graffiti artists. Um, for me, the train line, the train yard, was right across the street from where I lived at. Very quick, very, very convenient for me. Um, it was the A yard. Uh, the official name was the Picking Yard. And um, as I was growing up younger, then when I first started, we would just go in the train yard and play. So we would jump in the train yards and we'd run around, we'd go on the trains and we'll break the glass and we'll get the fire extinguishers and we'll spray them all over the place. We'll take them out the train yards and bring them around the way and spray people. And, uh, you know, we, we had fun, man, I tell you. Um, so when it came time for me to actually write graffiti, that made it so much easier for me to go into the train yard to write my name. Only thing that meant something to me was actually keeping this crown on my head and keeping my status on the streets and in the trains. And we would start an actual revolution within a revolution because graffiti art is a revolution. It is a revolution of the spray paint can versus the brush. This is what this revolution is all about. The change, the actual way we paint. When people come up to me and they start talking this, excuse my language, this bullshit about my passion for this art form. I'm very passionate. Plus, I know people, my best friend died right on the feet. So it's very personal to me. Very, very personal to me.